All right, how you doing? So I figure I'm going to do one last video before I take my happy tail to work here. All right. Uh, so look, I want to get right into it here. And it's funny why these so-called men of God, okay, they like making videos about me. All right. Don't talk about these uh, type of stories. Okay. Either that tells me either they in on it or too stupid to, uh, to do something about it. Okay. Or make videos or whatever, trying to stop it. Okay. It's up here worried about what another man is doing. All right. And these are the same people. They don't make videos about uh, children being molested. None of that stuff. Okay. So one guy that I know that makes videos about me all the time, that he's an androgynous zoophilus. <laughs> all right. But you don't see him making no videos about it at all. And I told him, all right. But anyway, let's get right into it, all right, on a more serious note. So this happened in Lakeland, Florida, okay. Uh, that was a Snapchat video. It was a 20-year-old uh, young lady named, a uh, substitute teacher by the name of Iona Davis, okay, that she's on some serious charges here. And just so you know, uh, Lakeland, Florida, South Florida, uh, I don't know, maybe about an hour south of uh, Orlando, okay? And just so you know, the uh, age of what they call, um, I forgot what they call that, uh, carnal knowledge, it's supposed to be like 17, like 18 years old, it's supposed to be 18, all right, for you to legally uh, have sex in Florida. Okay, serious charges for this woman for uh, sexual relations, allegedly, but the uh, the witness testimony, all right, proves wrong with an uh, unidentified 16-year-old uh, young boy of that high school, okay, down in Lakeland, Florida, okay, I think it's Lakeland High School, all right, but Allegedly, they had sex four times, two at her place, two times at her place, and then two times at his place while parents were asleep. Okay, you know, maybe parents were negligent. Maybe that's the more polit politically correct way to say it. Okay, but anyway, he shared the. I guess whatever footage or, uh, with football players, all right, bragging uh, to his boys on the football team. And there was reports saying that I guess he walked up to her and struck, struck a conversation one day. And I guess they went home after a football game or whatever, all right. And that was their first time, you know, having sexual relations. That's what reports uh, were saying. I uh, looked at other vi uh, videos, but I looked at the local news. It's a Fox news station down in Tampa, Florida, all right, where I, I took a look at uh, the, the news article on this. All right, so right now she's booked, okay, and pending charges, okay, for statutory rape. So there's a lot of these different stories that go on with these with women, okay, having relations with men, all right, and they're not talked about. Okay, uh, lately they have, I don't think there have been a lot of stories with men, okay, although it, it has happened, but not as many as recently as women, because I, I think nowadays with the Me Too movement and what, what's all that's going on in this climate, men already know what they're going to face if they get caught, okay? I don't, again, I don't think that they report it. Uh, they report a lot of these incidents they sweep it under the uh, rug, you know, it's like whatever. Um, so I just think this, if the women that accused for doing this type of stuff, if they would be held for the same, on the same standards of a man, which they're not, okay, there wouldn't even be any type of uh, stuff like this at all. There wouldn't be no type of harassment, no type of sexual assault, not at all, okay? But it does happen, and it's increasingly happen, happening with women, okay, as the, uh, the perpetrator at, or the, uh, the assailant. Yes, okay. Uh, there are several articles, and I just haven't got a chance to do them all. 
that guy, the little uh, women are getting pregnant by like 13, 14 year old boys, grown ass women, okay, in their 30s. All right. Um, I've done stories about this with women and men getting caught. Uh, one guy in Miami uh, messing around with two young ladies, okay, uh, seven, 16 to 17 year old girls, a 40 something year old man, okay, a preacher, football coach, okay, down in Miami. You know, um, but uh, there was just statements from the superintendent down there saying that they expect to uh, the teachers to be held or the substitutes to be held the same standards as as the um, as you know the employed teachers. Well, I think that they uh, the superintendent or or and the staff, okay, and the, and also the principals, okay, the head faculties need to enforce that. And I don't think they're doing a good job enforcing it. All right. It almost seems like you hear five incidents of a man and then you will hear one of a woman just to make it seem like they're not discriminating. OK. All right. Just to, you know, make it look like the, the playing ground is even when it's not. OK. So, ladies, you expect it to be held to the same standard, too. All right. Whether you have a problem with me making this video or not. OK, I know that work relationships do happen. I don't recommend it. But damn, you know, I keep saying time and time again, when it comes to these alternative lifestyles. And, I, you know, I have a hard time calling it alternative for this particular case. And I have a hard time saying that in general, that there's limits. OK, you would think that she's a 20 year old girl or whatever woman. OK, that she probably couldn't have any guy that, you know, that she wanted. You know, elsewhere. Well, not in school, not any school. Okay. I mean, they could. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but maybe other teachers or you know, I don't know. But I just think there's somebody for everybody. But you know, there's laws that they're putting in. They're getting more and more serious about uh, protecting these children. Okay. And you guys or whatever you trollers and guys making you know videos about me. You see, stuff like this, it may not mean nothing to you, okay? Until the baby is like your son or whatever, okay? And yes, this does affect boys that at that age or whatever, okay? Because I just don't think they're really there mature enough, you know, to be able to handle, let's say, rejection or what if she changes her mind, okay? So they may look mature in the body, but, you know, up in their mind, they, they might not be mature. But so does it happen 40, 50-year-old men. Okay, 60-year-old guys or whatever. I've seen an article about. All right, let me know what you think about this video. All right, subscribe, like, share. Uh, cash up dollar sign Winston Spivey or S-P-I-V-E-W-1 at unlv.nevada.edu for PayPal if you want to donate.